Good morning, everybody. My name is Anne Mogley. It's been a minute. I hope all of you guys are okay. I hope you're keeping warm here in Nairobi. It's so cold. So I just woke up a few minutes ago and I had a thought. How? Let me show you guys how how my day is. Because I normally work from home. I'm in the finance world. I'm an accountant. So I work for some organization and we've been working from home since COVID began. So I just woke up. I washed my face. Of late, I've been taking a bath in the evening. I don't take baths in the morning because it's so cold. It's so, so cold. And then because I was so busy the first like two weeks. So you would find I would wake up, just put my laptop on, try to get some work done, take breakfast. As in hey, my days were a bit hectic. Anybody who is in accounts knows that, especially when you're trying to close your book. If it's end month or end of the financial year or if you have audit, like you just find things are just a bit a bit crazy so i just woke up um my daughter actually also woke up we normally sleep together she sleeps on her bed but she wakes up at night i bring her to our bed then we sleep together so i just woke up and i'm trying to start this vlog from there broken i made my bed uh i made my bed but then i'm trying to sell this bed i'm trying to, I'm trying to sell this bed a bit too high for me and my baby has fallen off this bed severally we thank god she's never gotten a concussion because the bed is a bit high so i want to get a bed that is just a bit lower like maybe here one that even if she wants to get off the bed and we are not there she's able to so i want to sell this bed it's a very nice bed five by six hardwood very very heavy this is a bed that can serve someone for so many years so I just made my bed. They always say when you want to, when you want to achieve something, you start by basics, making your bed. So here's my machine. I have my machine on. I want to get some breakfast. I was thinking of making. It's a bit dark in here. So I'm gonna have some tea. I was thinking of frying maybe an egg or two. I'm a lover of eggs. So I've forgotten a very important part, always hydrate, always hydrate, so normally hydrate in the morning or when I wake up in between the night, because like this, I had this full bottle, I don't know, this is 1.5 liters I think, I drank this whole up to this point yesterday in the evening before I went to sleep, so I want to drink some water because I'm feeling very dehydrated. Especially for breastfeeding moms. Eh? I'm telling you, you feel you wake up feeling like so so thirsty. I'm telling you when she was younger, I remember I, I used to <laughs> I used to have this bottle like just near my bed so that anytime I'm thirsty I can just drink. And you know also like drinking a lot of water helps with milk production. drink water in the morning i also believe it has a strong impact on my ability to lose baby weight and drink a lot of water around three liters so i already have my tea out Put my pan to get heat.
to other new years. Guys, I'm scared. Gas in a panda. Hmm? Yani, gas in a panda by 500 bob. Because I normally use the, the 13 kgs one. And I used to buy it at 2100 Kenyan shillings. So I hear after the bill was passed, it's now 2600. Then everything, then the cost of living in Kenya, say, the cost of living in Kenya. Then the government has increased all the taxes, VAT, excess duty, pay, everything. They're literally taking money out of our pockets and they're not helping us find ways of how to put money into our pockets. I just have to vent a bit. I'm really feeling a lot of pain. Okay. And I think what, what even annoys me more is they're still putting restrictions. Like, they still have curfew. They're still restricting people from going to different zones. So me, I'm like, if you want people to be able to make money, hey, look at how some, some oils solidify when it's a bit cold. This is when you know whether the Cooking oil you use is nice because <laughs> it's a bit cold. You know, July is cold, so the cooking oil in a in a chicana solidifying. For me, I feel they should just remove all of the restrictions. Let people look for money. Let clubs open. Like actually, let it be business as usual, even if there's COVID, because now. There is no longer, they are not looking at that the common Mananchi does not have money. Hmm? They just want to take, take, take. Then let us be able to look for money any time of the day. Hmm? This thing of putting restrictions, curfews, I don't know what, and then still you, you've increased the taxes. Now... <laughs> How are people supposed to survive? I just feel like Kenyans are going through a lot. And then the worst thing is that we, do, we don't have any... <laughs> we don't have any opposition. We don't have anyone to complain for us. But we'll survive. Kenyans are very persistent. We will survive. So here is my bed. I think I'm going to have three places. <coughs> Let's survive. And also the cases of domestic violence have really, really increased. I think people are just frustrated. Financially, emotionally, mentally, you know, people are just frustrated. Like, I feel like the government should just cut us a break. They should just give us a break. They should just put themselves into our shoes. Eh? But all the problem is most of our leaders are corrupt. Most of them are stealing money. Mm -hmm. How are you going to put yourself in someone's shoes if even the money you have, you've not earned it in an honest way. Because yeah. I remember like when Pei uh, changed early this year, I think it was 1st of January, like you had to pay taxes like almost 5, 5k more. Yeah. That's a big impact on someone's income. It's ready, it's ready. I like my eggs cooked all through. You know that guys who like eggs that are ready. <laughs> that is not me or like the equivalent of eating a raw egg and I can't imagine. Sit down, Zana. Oops.
There's something that is a bit loose. Let me try it. Let me try it out. So that it stops dropping, dropping. And have this in my bedroom. Okay. I'll go to my machine. How many a work from home? At least I get to see my daughter a lot. I think there are pros and cons of working from home. Like when you work from home, you're able to spend more time with your family, spend more time, especially when you have a young child. Like I have a daughter who is uh, almost one, point four, uh, one, one year six months. She's actually right now one year five months, going to one year six months. So Working from home is nice. You're able to spend more time with your child, your family, in your home. You know, your home is your, like your comfort zone. Any home no pressure, you have to wake up, get made up, go out there. There's so many things that can happen out there. Work from home is nice. I like it. You don't waste a lot of time on traffic. Hey, like me, we would have had to go if we had to go back to the office. I would need like maximum one to two hours to get to the office, especially because I don't have a car. I would be using my tattoos, but God, I'm hoping I can get a car this year, even if it's a simple car. At least that will help me move from one place to another and not have to use um, public means. So the cons of not working from home, you don't get to interact with many people. You find like you're restricted to the people who live in your home mostly. Like now me, I interact with my nanny, my baby, my husband, maybe sometimes neighbors, but on a rare occasion. So if someone is maybe single, you live alone, and then you have to work from home like full time, I feel like it's a lot because you don't get to interact with people. Like you have to make that extra effort to be able to interact with people. Vis -a -vis, if you were in the office, you know, you just go there, meet people in the office, maybe when you go for lunch, meet people wherever you're eating your lunch, when you come home, if you're using public means, uh, interact with more people. But I like work from home. I don't know, because my baby now is a bit older. I think if I had to go back to the office, it would be okay, a bit okay. Especially if she's above like two years. Like, I you know she can talk. She's a bit more independent, you know. Because this thing of like your baby is three months and you have to go back to the office. Well, I just feel like it's normally a lot on women. It's mentally, it's a lot. Because you're there in the office, but you're just thinking, oh, did your baby eat? Did your baby poop? Like, yeah, thoughts of your baby are just consuming you. But anyways, women have made it. Hey, for me, I don't know whether it would have been my cup of tea. But that, guys, do you know statistically so many ladies uh, quit employment when it's time to go back to the office and you have a young one? Hmm? You just <laughs> you calculate and then you say you know what this money i'm looking for this child do and if she's not taken well taken care of what is the point you just decide to quit take care of your babies and then go back to work once they're a bit bigger anyways let's go and start work so that's my workstation i have my desk there i've been wanting to change that desk it's a bit high any delay of this desk can go kidogo because I'm a short, I'm a short girl. Then here's my seat. So I just want to log into my machine as I have my breakfast. Always like checking whether maybe someone needs my assistance, my agent assistance, mm -hmm. so that I can respond appropriately. So 
so guys you can tell me which one do you prefer work from home work from office why well, for me I prefer to work from home mm -hmm. If you have to work from home, please invest in a comfortable chair. I remember the first few months I didn't have an office chair. <laughs> and then you know the way when you give birth after, or after pregnancy and you've given birth, like your back, I don't know what happens to your back. <laughs> it's like your back breaks. So I didn't have a comfortable like sitting area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would sit on my couches when I'm working, but I would really have severe back aches. Mm -hmm. And you know I take supplements, so obviously it's not that my body was lacking any minerals. But once I got this chair, at least I was a bit more comfortable. So the next thing I'm investing in is an, uh, an office desk, though I don't know whether I will be working from home for long. You never know. You can get a better opportunity and you go. Mm -hmm. And most companies in Kenya right now are working from their office, not from home. So there's two types of people. <laughs> Those who brush their teeth immediately they wake up before they've even taken breakfast and then there are those who brush their teeth <laughs> after eating meals. So which one are you? For me I've always known you should eat first then brush your teeth. So there are those who brush their teeth then they eat. So I don't know which, which is correct. Hmm? Anyways, as long as you brush your teeth. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's lunchtime. Been working since morning. It's a bit late. I think it's around 1.30. I want to go and look for what you're gonna be making for lunch. We don't have leftovers because yesterday we had leftovers from the other day, so today we don't have any leftovers. So I was thinking of making some omena. Omena that small fish. Some omena kills and some ugali so I'm actually heading out to go and buy some omena I love how my hair looks hey today is a bit warm and compared the other three actually the whole of even last week it's been so cold you know for us we're used to temperatures of around 20 21 22 20 25 so of late it's been around between 15 and 20 so that is to us that is cold <laughs> i know those who come from cold countries that is not cold but well, 
Baridi meko ikitupeleka mbio and then you you wash your clothes, you hang them outside, they are not drying up. Especially when you have like a baby, you know how they wear so many clothes in a day. Anyways, let me go out and buy my stuff, come back and cook quickly. My sweet daughter is sleeping. Hopefully by the time she wakes up, the food will be ready. See ya. So I'm here having my lunch. Some creamy omena and ugali. I was a bit late, so I didn't have time to show you guys as I cooked. So I'm just trying to hurry and have my lunch and continue with work. Yep. <laughs> my lunch buddy. Hey guys, so it's the evening. Uh, it's around five something. So I'm trying to log off work. So that's it, that's what from home. We're here with my daughter, she's having her milk, watching some cartoon. So I told you guys I normally at least take the time in the evening to freshen up. So I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna also wash her. It's a bit cold, but we have to bathe every day. Don't skip bathing, guys. So if you watched this video to the end, uh, thank you. And let me know whether you would like to see more content like this. Just like me, up and about doing normal stuff. See you till the next one. Bye.